So from an injury epidemiology perspective, we might say that previous injury is a non-modifiable risk factor. But Kyle, with all your experience with pain and motor control and functional testing, what does the literature actually tell us? Well, thanks, Phil. Um, really what we found, and, and I have a lot of experience with uh, low back pain research and, and a lot of experience with motor control literature, and what we've learned in back pain is that pain alters motor control, and that was a big finding, and subtle deficits, subtle impairments exist that have a relationship with, with recurrence in back pain. So we started to look in the literature to more specific sports injuries, and, and really what we found in something as simple as an everyday ankle sprain is that profound motor control changes do occur. So multiple studies have shown us that after an ankle sprain, it has resolved the, the athletes back to sport, but deficits exist at the motor control level. And it takes a university motor control biomechanics laboratory to identify these things, but they are very important in terms of muscle timing at the hip, proximal control through the core, and simply transitioning from one limb to the other, those motor control strategies change. So if we had to capture what's probably going on with previous injury and why it is the number one risk factor for sports, I would say from our research that it's related to altered motor control.